Coming up, I'm going to show you two simple and free ways to let you spy on your competitor's ads. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. And today, I want to show you two simple and free ways that you can use to really see what your competitors are doing on their ads, to see what kind of creatives they're using that might help you get inspired on what you can be doing for your paid acquisition. Now, this is a part of our whole market research video series that we've been doing, as you can tell from the previous videos. So if you haven't checked out those two previous videos, I will show you links to that later in the video. So without further ado, let's get into this. So the first way that we're going to use is using a service called Sensor Tower. That's sensortower.com. This is all free. So what you can do within Sensor Tower is find an app that you want to study. So for example, Fortnite, which I have right here. So I'm going to click into this. We've already got clicked in. And now we can see with from an iOS perspective, what they're doing on video ads. So on this little right hand, you can just click on this. So you can get a sense of what they're doing with their video ads that you might be able to use. It looks like it's a general gameplay video to see. This will inspire you to see what others are using for their video ads. Now the same thing can be said for any other apps. So all you have to do within Center Tower is just search for the app that you want. So I'd search for Fortnite, but let's say I wanted to search for HQ Trivia, right? They're killing it in the app space. So for example, HQ Trivia. Okay, cool. I'm going to click this. I've already done that here, so we don't have to wait. And now you can see here's the video ad that they're running. Now, this is the banner that they have. So Sensor Tower is not going to show you all the ad creative formats that they're using on Facebook, but they will show you some parts of it. And sometimes it's random on what ad network they're going to show you. So for Fortnite, they're showing Ad Colony, which is a more of a games type of network and another ad network on there. And it shows you nine more and you can pay for it if you want to see them all. So here, I'll click this, add intelligence. So if you want to sign up for this and pay for pay a little bit more to see everything, then you can pay for that. But if you just want to see what Sensor Tower will show you, then here's where you see it, right? And you can also see the monthly revenues for HQ Trivia as well. Now, this is the Google Play listing for HQ Trivia, and I don't see anything with that. So maybe they're not doing much on Google Play when it comes to advertising. And they're doing stuff on Facebook for iOS. So any app, search for it on Sensor Tower, click into it, and then Sensor Tower will show you the different ad networks that they might be running on. So for this last one, Calm, they're doing YouTube advertising. You can click this and watch the video that Calm is running on YouTube and see where they're headed with this stuff. So I won't watch, make you watch all of it, but this is what Calm is running on YouTube. And they're running on four or more networks, probably Facebook and the like, but there you can see the type of creative that Calm is using. And here's the revenue numbers for Calm as well. Pretty accurate, as I showed you in the previous video. So let's move on to the second way. And the second way is so super simple that I'm gonna stay with you on this video, but it's gonna come up right here as well. And this is the Facebook app. Okay, so I have it right now. And what I've done already is search for HQ Trivia within the Facebook app, and here's what I'm showing. So I'm on their app page, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is you see this little eye, this little information icon, I'm gonna click on that, and then page info, and I'm gonna click on creative or active ads, right there. This was a tip that I got from Sylvain Gaucher from Aptamin, so big shout out to him. But here is where you can start seeing all the ads that HQ Trivia is running on Facebook, right? So I can click on this. Remember the Sensor Tower video? Or the, remember on Sensor Tower is just a banner? Now we're seeing the video on Facebook. So Sensor Tower didn't give this to us, but now we can see it on the Facebook app. 
And this is probably happening. This is according to Sullivan. This started happening because say, Facebook got into a bunch of trouble with the fri privacy stuff. And so now they want to be open and transparent with the ads that all the advertisers are running on. Right. So you can see the the text that they're using as well. Play HQ trivia, answer 12 questions, and win cash. Same text here, but here it says, what would you do with $5,000? Get the app, answer trivia questions, and win cash. So really simple text that they, they've been using here. And you can do this with any type of apps. So if I wanted to do this for Calm, for example, here's the Calm page. So I'm gonna click the info again, active ads, and here I can see the different ads that they're running as well and what they're using in their text. So I wanna show you going back into Sensor Tower something really quick as well. And within Sensor Tower, you can go down to estimated revenue and then see the different country breakdowns. So these are all English speaking countries. So it's all Great Britain, Canada, and then Australia, all English speaking. But let's go back into the Facebook app. And within the Facebook app, I'm under the column again. Now I can switch the countries. So now that I know the UK is the second bi biggest market for them, I can go in and see what kind of ads they're running in the UK. Here it is. Again, now you can see, is this different from the US? Is it not? Is it very similar? Are they running the same video? Ad? Are they trying something different? within the UK. So now you can start figuring out the different countries and really, really spying on your competitors. That's it, two very dead simple ways that you can use to really spy on your competitors to get a sense of the type of advertising, the type of creatives that they're using to really drive the revenues that you might be seeing from your market research. The last thing I'll tell you guys is we are building this market research course, this full bone course on App Masters Academy. And if you don't know what App Masters Academy is, it has our entire playbook. So if you don't want to hire us as an agency and you just want to learn from us, it has our entire playbook on App Masters Academy. And you can check it out for free with a free seven day trial. Go ahead and check it out, download all the stuff. And if you're so cheap that you're going to cancel after you've gotten all of it and you don't have to pay me a dime, you can go ahead and do that as well because I am so stinking confident that we're going to be adding more and more courses and more and more new developments in there that you're gonna to wanna to come back and stay with that community. We've got a community aspect to it as well, so go check it out. It is App Masters Academy if you wanna check out the full-blown course that we're building on this market research that we've been sharing recently. It is all gonna be under App Masters Academy. So until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Check out our previous video on how to do market research for any app to see how much money they're making. Click that link right there. And if you wanna see the video where we dissect an app that is making over $2 million a month, well, click that video right there. And don't forget to subscribe.